okay so it's been a while since i posted some uh, tech videos uh, on uh, you know uh, uh, any topic appointments app we have already seen uh, using flask like putting it into the db and displaying it on the web page uh, but uh, i was like uh, it did not have any bootstrap uh, you know uh, uh, bootstrap uh, designs or styles so i thought i'll do a quick video on third uh, there's third uh, the operations using local storage in javascript okay local storage is 5 mb and before we start the video as always uh, i pay my respects to uh, ramanujacharya shankaracharya madhvacharya and all uh, you know religious leaders uh, who have uh, you know contributed to uh, our thought of organizing uh, you know uh, our mental faculties so that's basically uh, uh, how i start my video so let's straight away jump into the video of uh, how to do an appointment app using uh, you know javascript uh, local storage which is uh, basically 5 mb in size and it is synchronous and it is not asynchronous so uh, what can be done is you can do all third operations but we will do it in pa two part video so that uh, it will be easy and uh, it will be very uh, useful to have uh, something like this uh, for any kind of uh, application where uh, you know people uh, need not depend on uh, you know uh, basically sql or uh, other dbs uh, you can straight away you can use local storage for many other things uh, uh, basically you can uh, use it for testing uh, applications which has json because uh, and one more important thing is it is very compatible with mongo db like if you store something in uh, json in uh, you know uh, local storage you can straight away uh, uh, copy that and and send it as a dump to the mongodb where you have live projects going on for the appointments okay something like this appointment app will straight away jump in because i need not want to drag into uh, so many other things and the facets of uh, this so this is exactly how uh, the final view will be so there will be an appointment form say for example i uh, say for example i uh, add something appointment date can be anything nine So this is how exactly uh, it will look. The sizing is basically because uh, you know the letters, the card size takes the the card takes the letter size. So we will jump into the code and then we will uh, look into it. Okay. So this has a good mobile view where you can have uh, good uh, compatible with the pixel size of uh, your device. Okay, so straight away we'll jump into the code. So I will post this code in uh, the video link uh, in the YouTube. Okay, as a code also I will post or uh, I will uh, uh, share my uh, Google Drive's uh, link. Okay, so we'll open a folder. Uh, I'm going to. I'm not going to really type everything because I have already done all these things and yep so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy paste it from uh, the already tested uh, things and then uh, we are going to uh, look into it so I'll create a folder 
So MRT press and then you get the uh, no, boiler uh, plate code and then we will straight away what we will do this is not needed because we are going to do copy paste of entire file. So important thing what we are going to include in this is uh, we are going to include bootstrap 5 uh, CSS uh, bootstrap uh, min uh, JS bundle and uh, jquery is not included in bootstrap 5 but uh, jquery is compatible with uh, most of the bootstrap elements so that is any uh, previous jquery library cd and library is uh, uh, you know backward compatible with uh, that is bootstrap 5 is backward compatible with the jquery thing so jquery uh, we are using very old version of jquery like 2.1.3 in.js I'll, I'll paste all this uh, so what we'll do is in the head we will copy the head and I'll not go into the style of how you are doing the styles and all these things in the CSS part okay. so inside the head we will copy over I'm just copying the style part of it for the forms. takes if you uh, do it uh, in your style if you want to change something it will take some time it will not take much time that's what uh, predicament on this script body everything i'll copy till the end One second. We'll answer. So what we'll do is we'll check uh, whether it's taking uh, values to the local storage. Okay. Before that, what we have to do is since local storage is browser dependent and uh, no, uh, it is. Basically, uh, you are trying to enter, re-enter everything into uh, because you have copied uh, all these things. What we'll do is we'll try to clear the local storage for once, and then we we'll, uh, try to add it. Okay. Now you can see that nothing is there. So what we'll do is from our new app, we will comment this. From our new app, we'll try to add. Uh, we'll close this instance of uh, you know the file from the new file. We'll try to add. Uh, 
why I'm copy pasting is uh, I don't want to waste time in uh, you know getting into the errors and stuff. So what we'll do, we'll run. After running uh, in two to three minutes, I'll try to explain the code what exactly is happening. Check whether local storage is working. I'm just typing my own name. Okay, so That is no email ID which exists like this. So, eight eight nine nine seven seven six six nine ten two four six eight ten. Okay, find one time which is okay. It is adding and the data is coming. So we. We'll straight away jump to the code and see what exactly is happening. So token is starting from zero because uh, I have uh, assigned the key uh, from a for loop. So uh, it starts from zero. So we can uh, pass it to other variable and then increment it to one and then for the next time uh, automatically increment the variable. It will set. Uh, so what exactly is happening? So once you fill the form, this is the form. Okay, simple form with the main and uh, main, and then uh, it has a form, uh, you know, simple HTML form. Okay, with bootstrap uh, classes like, uh, you know, column MD6, all these things, row, column, you separate it and then you put the necessary input types inside that. Okay, and this section is empty because this is added from jQuery. Okay, so uh, what is happening is once you click submit in the form, once you click submit in the form, it straight away comes here and on submit, clicking on submit, uh, uh, you know, an array is created. Okay, once the array is created, uh, then all the values uh, from the form, uh, all the value values from the form fields are transferred to a variable and then that variable is passed with a local storage set item is the uh, command or uh, you know uh, the function uh, through which uh, you know you you need to pass the key and the variable and you are stringifying json stringifying whatever be the array you are making it as a json and then passing it uh, the whole app info uh, array is passed and stringified and converted into JSON and stored in the local storage. Once the local storage is done, you are traversing through the local storage. Uh, once the submit button is done, you are traversing through the local storage and then you are uh, appending, you are parsing. Basically, you are getting the key uh, from the local storage. Key is nothing but the number which you have passed. This is the key. A mobile number is the key, uh, so mobile number is going to differ for each appointment. So you will have the key. So you are traversing through the length of the local storage, and for each key item, you are uh, getting the value. And the value you are constructing a HTML element using this uh, section was empty, right? That section uh, thing was empty. So you are clicking an HTML element and then appending. It. Section, section element you are basically appending it you are doing a you are creating a container for the styles to happen you are creating a container we have already seen it in the blog uh, creating blog using local storage but uh, this is like mobile view and proper design and uh, ui ux uh, stuff okay still it is imperfect but uh, you can basically uh, you know uh, use this code and uh, do whatever you want and you can add so many options like you can capture the photo at the top of the form you can have a you no know, at the top of the form you can have a small uh, photo capturing thing which we have seen it in the 
glass cap. Uh, similar to that, you can capture it and then you can uh, store it in the local storage and then retrieve it. Uh, so in this video, this is the short video which I thought I'll explain. In this video, we'll, we are just adding it. In the next video, I have given the delete button where I'm going to add the you know key of uh, that ID ID I have to add for this button and then once it is clicked. It will delete uh, not only the data, it will also delete the view. Once the data is gone, it will automatically delete the view, but still. Delete, uh, upon refresh, it has to delete. So we have to do a refresh and then make sure that uh, the proper uh, things are in place. Okay, so in this video, we have seen how to add items in the... Uh, it's a simple appointment. You can see how, how much ever you... Uh, Say, Me is a new song, so I am just typing it down. I like the song, so I thought I will use that name itself. Important thing about uh, local storage is, uh, you know, it is uh, basically uh, uh, persistent. Whereas you are bringing persistence in the browser stack. Okay, there are so many other stacks which uh, we can explore in different videos, different different videos. But as of now, this is the.